Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, answering the question about the fall festival days, when they will occur. We're here in the year 2023, and we're looking at um, a representation of Enoch's uh, gates that we read about over there in the book of Enoch, the first book of Enoch. And in that book, we learn about these gates, of course, and we learn how the sun and the moon have to match up in these particular gates. Those are the sun, the moon, and the stars that we hear about as far as uh, Genesis chapter 1 and our Father's sacred calendar. Well, in the year 2023, we see the plotting of these new moons onto these particular gates. And what we see is the 13th month appearing sometime around May. Look real close there. You have the new moon there on about April the 20th, and then you have another one on about May the 17th, where they both fall in the fifth gate. And the way Enoch describes this over in his book of the revolutions of the luminaries of heaven, we see that we have to have all three the sun, the moon, and the stars to converge in order for it to be declared a new month. We see that down there in verse 9. And all three, the sun, the moon, and the stars meet up in that gate. Then we have uh, the beginning of the uh, month. That's how each month begins. And so we're looking over here in 2023. And what we see is that we've had seven moons in six months. That's an additional moon that doesn't equal an additional month. So all that to say that this new moon is not the beginning of the seventh month, but it's still in the fourth gate. And so it is the beginning of the sixth month instead. Let's come over to Enoch and I'll show you. Okay. So you see right there, it's talking about the first month starting in the fourth gate. So it stays in there 30 days, just like it says. And then you see that, uh, let's see, I'm looking for the fifth gate. It's still in the fourth gate all the way down. It, it explains the fourth gate a lot because, you know, it's also talking about the beginning of the year. But then you start to hear about the fifth gate there in verse 15. And notice that it's not talking about months, but gates because they're in verse 17, you start hearing about the sixth gate. And then you're also hearing about the sixth gate in verse 22. And then you start to hear about the fifth gate again, because that's what you're starting with. You're starting there at the fourth, then the fifth, then the sixth. And then you have we come back around to the sixth gate. And that's how it works in these periods. And then when it starts getting down and talking about uh, the seventh, month uh, there in about verse 26 is actually talking about the third gate the seventh month begins in the third gate so when we're looking back over here we see that we're not in the third gate yet and and so those who will start to blow their trumpets with this next new moon will be blowing them a month too early because they're not following the sacred calendar this is the the, the genesis 1 and 14 calendar I didn't say the Enoch calendar or the Dead Sea Scrolls calendar or the Book of Remembrance calendar. This is how Genesis chapter 1 and verse 14 works. It's just that Enoch explains it to us. And that's why some people call it the Enoch calendar. I don't call it the Enoch calendar because there's so many people using the Book of Remembrance. Like, you know, Nick Vandalane uses the Book of Remembrance, which was written in the 21st century by people who use the Urim and the Thummim and claim to have interviewed Enoch by way of the Urim and the Thummim. In about 2002, these two guys built the Urim and the Thummim. You know, they made out of crystals. They say in the book that they used these crystals in order to interview Enoch, who explained to them how the sacred calendar works. Now, I believe in the Urim and the Thummim, and I know how they work, and I have a set here myself. I've never used it yet, but I also do understand, like I said, how they work, and because those people who wrote that book do not know how the sacred calendar works, they have errors. They, their discernment is not there. And so they didn't catch when they was hearing discrepancies from this so-called interview that they had um, 6,000 years after the first book was actually written. And my thing is, why do they have to um, 
when we have the original here and it's perfect, you know, why do you have to contact Enoch to find out what he says about these luminaries? And then when you get that information and it's discrepancy, you're saying you're going to throw out all of what he previously said because we got new information from two you know, random dudes here in about 2012, they got their hands on some crystals. I, I don't think so. So when it comes to the sacred calendar, we have to stick with the script. So, you know, those guys who claim it's an Enoch calendar, um, if their days are not matching up with Leviticus 23, if their days are not matching up with, you know, the sun, the moon, and the stars, um, I'm sorry. It's, they're going to they're gonna have you doing the feast days on the wrong day. And you say, well, what's the importance of that in the year of 2023? Well, this is actually the year of release. This is when everybody is supposed to read the law during the feast of tabernacles during the sabbatical year. And here we are in a sabbatical year and their majority of the people if they even knew that this was the sabbatical year and knew that they were supposed to read the Torah, read the law this year, they're going to do it a month early, you know, and that's a that's a really big deal this year because we're supposed to get this release this year. And so a lot of people could end up missing the release. I don't know. Like I said, I'll wait to see how it plays out. But a lot of people will miss this year of release simply because they didn't um, read the Torah, read the law during the Feast of Tabernacles this year. This video is brought to you by the Celestial Clock Calendar, the official timepiece of the 144,000. Get your Celestial Clock Calendar at coachinafight.shop or follow the links in the description below. So we come over here and we look at the calendar. And we have to go to the summer calendar because what we find out is that when we have this zero percent moon on September the 14th, it's actually not going to fall in the right window. Look back over here at the gate. This, this is why we have to understand how these gates work. Um, real simple. In order for the season to start, the fall season to start, we have to have the um, new moon after September the 18th. So we come over here to Google and just put in when this fall begin, you see here is that the first day of fall is September the 23rd. Well, here is the problem. The new moon falls right, you know, right there. They will be sighted somewhere around September, you know, the 16th or the uh, 17th. They'll have the new moon. So you're looking here and you see where that moon falls. It's actually uh, Elul. That's the second moon. And so it is the next new moon that will begin the seventh month, the one that will appear after October the 14th. That's going to be the first moon that actually puts us in the right gate. See if I can draw some type of widget on there. I don't know if I can. And that's going to be in the right gate in fall. And so that's why we'll be able to have our festivals in the fall is because we understanding how the sacred calendar works would we'll never declare the seventh month or the fall season to have started before September the 18th. And, you, you know, you think about those in the other hemisphere like Australia or, you know, Southern Africa or you know even Southern America, if they pick up the book of Enoch. You don't tell them to wait till March. You know, it tells them to wait to the equinox. And the only difference about their equinoxes down there is that they are opposite than ours. Their spring begins with the new moon after September the 18th or September the 22nd. Depend, you know, you have to you know, look at when their um, days and the nights are equal, but they're opposite than ours. And so for them to be able to use the same book and be on the same page as us, we have to use the equinoxes. If we just count moons, well, what's going to end up happening if they're going to end up doing their Passover season in their winter time? Uh, the spring equinox in um, Australia is not until September the 23rd. So if they listen to the Jewish community, tell them that they're supposed to be doing their fall festivals, then those that are doing their spring festivals, um, they're going to still be in the wintertime 
until September the 23rd. But as far as the autumn calendar, this is um, where our feast days will fall this year. You know, a lot of people are asking um, about this and I may not, I don't know how I'm going to handle this as far as, you know, letting people know that is uh, feast days are off. Um, like I said, the problem is missing the day of tabernacles and when we're supposed to have this reading when all the Israel is supposed to read um, this document during this festival is going to be missed. Um, so I don't know. Um, this time of the year is usually when we get our most subscribers. And then I'm thinking that if we, you know, fished for those survivors, we may find some that are willing to um, understand the sacred calendar, how it's supposed to work, and then actually you know, go ahead and do the reading there in the fall. So I don't know how this is going to work. Uh, you guys can leave some feedback in the, in the comment section, but this may be the only video we do before uh, the true seventh month. Before, when is it? October the 16th. We may wait to after October the 16th in order to start telling people this, or we may do it early. I don't know yet. Y'all tell me what you're thinking. I'm going to start to draw lots on it. But anyway, um, here's the schedule. Like I said, for autumn, um, the memorial blowing of trumpets. Uh, people will start blowing his trumpets on the evening of the 15th of October. Um, the 15th of October. Uh, when they'll start blowing the trumpets 10 day or nine days later, people will start to celebrate the Feast of Atonement, start afflicting their souls on or about October the 23rd and 24th and the 25th will be the 10th day of the month. That will be the 25th. And then the Feast of Tabernacles won't start until October the 30th. It was started, you know, people will start at the evening, October the 29th until October the 30th will be the first day. And then we'll go all the way through to the eighth day, which will be on or about November the 6th. So those will be the fall festival days. Um, we'll talk about it more. Like I said, Father will, and we'll, we'll talk about it more unless we, you know, start talking about how, you know, following that other calendar is the mark of the beast. We may not hear any more about this until October the 16th. So if you got anything out of this video, go ahead and hit the like button and see you in the comment section.